In this video, I'll briefly outline the install process for both LDD and LDRAW. I'm here at the official LEGO Digital Designer website, and as we can see, the setup and installation of LDD is pretty straightforward. Uh, simply select your desired platform, which in my case is Windows, download the application, and then follow through with the prompts in the setup wizard. I'm going to agree to the licensing terms, click Next, configure my shortcuts, and then click Next again and follow through with the prompts. Now you may recall from a previous video that in order to be able to successfully import our models into the simulator, I'm going to need to have the LDRAW um, parts library installed. So here I'm going to go to the downloads link. And what I'm interested in here is the LDRAW AIOI or all-in-one installer. Now I'm gonna warn you right now, this thing is a beast of a file. Uh, so I hope you have a lot of patience. I'm gonna enter in the CAPTCHA code here, prove I'm not a robot click submit and go grab myself a cup of coffee. Now when I return, I'm gonna see this setup wizard. I'm gonna follow through with the prompts just as I did for LEGO Digital Designer. There's a couple of options here that I am interested in configuring. So I'm gonna set up and agree to the licensing terms. I'm gonna accept the defaults here. And what I'm interested in changing though is a couple of these install options. So what I really want is the LDRAW parts library. I will choose to unselect MLCAD. MLCAD is an alternative to LEGO Digital Designer. We won't be working with it in this training series. I do want to keep LD View though. LD View is going to allow us to preview our exported models. I'm going to unselect LPUB. And then down here at the bottom, I'm going to uncheck the official LEGO models as we won't be working with them. And then click Next. Here I'll set the path for my LDRAW installation. Any shortcuts that I want to use, click Next. And the very last thing we're interested in here is using LDView to generate thumbnails. Again, LDView is an incredibly useful tool for being able to preview our exported models uh, from LEGO Digital Designer. We're going to see LDView here in a minute. I'm going to click the Finish button and now we are in LDView. And as you can see, it, LDView doesn't do anything in too useful. Uh, what we're interested in here is just being able to ensure that our model exported properly. If it hasn't, we're going to be missing uh, parts in our model. Uh, there's a couple of housekeeping issues I need to tend to here in the simulator. First, I want to go into the preferences menu here and I want to make sure that the simulator is able to find my LDRAW installation. In this case, it is seeing it. If it isn't, click here on the browse button and just go to that path where you installed your LDRAW library, wherever that may be. Usually it's under C, Users, Public, uh, Documents, and here I can find my LDRAW installation. Click OK. And OK again to save the changes. The very last thing we're going to do here is click on the Help menu and patch LEGO Digital Designer. Uh, this is going to allow us to be able to import our models from LDD uh, into the sim. And I'll click OK once the patch has been applied. There you have it. That's installation of LDRAW and LDD in a nutshell.